not going to give it away. 4-1. And so City Liverpool once more. For the reigning kings of England, another juicy joust with their principal modern adversary. From this point on, every moment matters. Gakpo's alongside, it is Diogo Jota. And it's Mo Salah! Who rifles Liverpool ahead? Stunned silence in the Etihad! That's Ilkay Gundogan, this is Jack Grealish, Alvarez, 1-1! One, one. A hot knife through butter. And everyone's bouncing up and down, the big boy himself, on behalf of the man who fills his boots. Well, that is a smashing goal. Alvarez, oh what a smashing ball, and Morris is onto it, and there is De Bruyne! Explosive, immediate! Champions on a charge! Inside the first second half minute, from behind City lead. Riyad Mahrez, Julian Alvarez, Gundogan! The Bouncing Blues! Beware, they are happening. City are happening. Arsenal on the April calendar. Here's De Bruyne. And there's Grealish! A delicious moment, which he proudly embraces. He has been a delight. He is impish, he is fun, he is bang on target. And Manchester City are pulling stylishly away. City so special, so deliciously smooth. What a team. They are... The cream, cream in which Liverpool drowned, and just how powerful, just how gleaming a machine Manchester City's machine can be, and you are only left to reflect that if Arsenal can hold off this torrent of excellence, and torrent it is, what a remarkable achievement it will be for them because City are coming, and doesn't Jurgen Klopp just know it? And City won it, Rebecca, by four splendid goals to one. Rebecca, thank you. The Emirates Stadium pulsates 16 years and more since Arsenal moved into this beautiful place. It still lacks only for a champion's pennant. So let us be clear, this will not be conclusive, but boy, it will be consequential. Not decisive, but very possibly pivotal. Three months and more, 102 days before the season ends. But here is the game that can set the narrative. By Haaland. Oh, Tommy Etzel's back pass, De Bruyne! Smart opportunism! And the champions lead on the turf of their would-be successors. And the look on his face, poor boy, the look on Tommy Asu's face when he realised what he'd done. And the look on those City faces. Xhaka. Locked into the path of Anketia! He's given a penalty. He has given a penalty amid a blockage on the line, which perhaps involved a hand. It must have done. Well, Pakayo Saka. The boy who became a man, an individual so slight, but with shoulders so broad. The Emirates takes a breath.
to the level and Arsenal are back on top. Well, there is plenty to be going along with. What an engaging, enthralling, attritional half of football between the two big ones. Bernardo Silva, Haaland's on the charge. Gundogan and Grealish! Snatches back a Champions League! to do again and De Bruyne and Holland the champion straight away a giant moment from a giant man and so it twists for City they have reeled Arsenal in once more, the champions lord it over those who would steal their crown. And the race is neck and neck. And it is a result for City well worth gallivanting about. It is not, of course, definitive. It is not conclusive, Rebecca. But maybe come May, maybe three months from now, we will look back on this night and consider it the night when it turned. Sustenance, two successive defeats, two months and more without a home league win. No club demands more of itself than this, the champion club. Oh, Edison's pass was poor, and Kulosevsky pounces! And Tottenham steal! And Pe is on his knees what next whatever next it doesn't rain but it pours for Manchester City right now it is one thing after another and Kane and still Kane and thrust in by Emerson Royale Spurs are blinking this back can it be? Two goals in no time on the cusp of half time. And for Manchester City, it's a long way back. And City have a task on their hand. Nico Lewis. Riyad Mahrez around Perisic. Mahrez. Grealish. A World Cup winner's goal. City are in it again. Mahrez for Rodri. And Rodri for Mahrez. Holland! The heavyweight bounces off the canvas. The champions back in the battle. Rodri. Mahrez. Perisic has committed and out of it. It's Riyad Mahrez! That's just stunning. Manchester City in microcosm. In less than a quarter of an hour, the lengthiest journey from utter despair to elation. Thrust forward by Edison, and here is Riyad Mahrez! The man of a magnificent Manchester City moment. He's made it happen all by himself. When he shines, he truly glitters, Riyad Mahrez. He's a delicious footballer. And he has restored to a face that frowned that broad Catalan grin. The performance of a champion club.
A club that despises the concept of defeat. A club that stared at a desperate deficit and then laughed in its face. But they came out for the second half and reminded us of who they are. Manchester City, magnificent. So much for a City surrender. Above the Champions Stadium, of course, the Champions pennant still flies. There is no room here, Rebecca, for a white flag. Manchester City are going nowhere fast. This is Selhurst Park in all its customary boisterousness, albeit currently amid encircling angst. And this is Edgy, Palace from the fringe of peril, City in fear now of even the merest stumble. Good ball. Right, Grealish, Gundogan. Grealish, Give a pen. penalty! Alise hangs his head. There's little by way of protest. He knows, you suspect he knows. And here he is again, eyeball to eyeball with Waiter. And this is a big one. Haaland! That can make the world a difference! Big, broad, Norwegian smile. They huffed, they puffed, they waited. And finally, finally, via their vast Scandinavian striker, City had the lead they craved. Manchester City have tiptoed stealthily up on the leaders. But champions find a way, and these champions did find a way, and repeatedly they surely will find a way to stay around Arsenal and perhaps possibly to reel them in. Palace and Vieira with problems, but Manchester City back, Rebecca, closer to where they want to be. 1-0 winners at Selhurst Park. One drought goes on, but Newcastle can still end another. And as their sole focus shifts to a Champions League return, Manchester City hope to inflict the week's second helping of Mancunian misery to stay hot on Arsenal's heels. And this man's been bang on it as well, Phil Foden. And still he goes, Phil Foden has got the goal. Four in three for him. Well, he's recently talked about how it's been one of the most bruising spells of his career. But he's through it, and he's back with a bang. And it's taken Manchester City 15 minutes to break through. Here's Grealish, though. Trippi can only poke it away so far. Just when they need it back. Bernardo Silva comes off the bench and scores. Newcastle asking all the questions. But it's Manchester City who had the answers. So the best attack sees off the best defence to keep the pressure on Arsenal on another afternoon when City fans got their fill. For Newcastle, there was no post-Wembley hangover, but defeat's another headache. Missed chances playing a major part in this defeat. An opportunity knocked. The Geordies couldn't open the door. It's finished. Manchester City 2, Newcastle United now. And so the first of two games in four days for City. Win them both. And the reigning champions will go top of the pile. Mares with the corner towards Rodri! Just the start they wanted. City galvanised, energised and leading after only four minutes. And Fither in trouble here, it's Irving Haaland. That defence has reset now, Haaland across, it's tucked away by Ilkay Gundogan. Almost the same spot from where Gundogan scored the goal. On the final day of last year, to provoke the euphoric scenes around this stadium. And they are joyous once again today. Ilkay Gundogan, it's 2 0 City. Well, Gamp is the Riyad Mahrez. Mahrez against Martinez. 
No mistake there from Rio Mares. The third goal to cap an outstanding first half. Here's Watkins. Can he get away here? Yes, he can. Obi Watkins. It's a goal back for Aston Villa. He scores for a third game in a row. And just moments after that triple change, Villa may be back in the game. And City have put all the outside noise to one side for now. Those headlines, those questions won't go away for some time. But on the pitch, this was about the players' response today. And it was a fine response. City mean business. And they have the wind in their sails once again. Villa, in the end here, comfortably beaten. City victors by three goals to one.